I'm Father Mark. Um, one of the things that we often hear and we often experience to some extent is that sensation of being bored at Mass. And we might think, feel guilty about that or even think it's wrong in some way. But I mean, if we explore that for a second, I think to be honest with ourselves, rather than thinking of it as being something that's wrong, particularly when you're coming back to Mass after an awfully long time away, or perhaps if you're brand new at Mass, or perhaps if you're not Catholic and you're bringing your children to Mass with uh, your partner or your wife or your husband, I think we might say it's inevitable to be bored at Mass. And part of the reason for that is because we're entering a completely different world from the world that we're used to. We're, we're used to a world that's full of distraction, full of things that are trying to entertain us. And suddenly we're in this different world. It's a world where we're trying to be in the sacred place, something that's completely out of our ordinary mundane world around us. And so that's the first reason why we might experience something that is what we might call boredom, because we're not being distracted. We're not being entertained necessarily in the way that we're so used to. And of course, sometimes some of the things that can lead to boredom can be out of our control. It might be that the church doesn't have a very good sound system. It might be that the priest, even though the sound system is good, doesn't speak very clearly. It might be that, frankly, the priest gives awful homilies week in, week out, and that's gonna lead to a certain extent to us being bored. And yet at the same time, we still have to allow ourselves to be brought into that sacred space. And it would be a mistake for the church, for the priest, for that particular community to try to become simply another source of entertainment. <clears throat> but I don't think we should feel bad when we feel bored in church and at mass. I think if we're honest again with ourselves and we think about all of those times where we've had to do something different, it's going to take some time and it's going to take some patience. And quite honestly, what we do need to be open to is the possibility that we might need to learn a little more about what's happening at Mass and, and enter into a deeper understanding. And therefore, once we get that deeper understanding, we begin to appreciate it more and we enter into the right spirit to truly appreciate what's taking place at Mass. I like to think, for example, of very simple examples, people like Geraint Williams, Bradley Wiggins, Chris Froome, at one stage could never ride a bike. And of course, they would have been frustrated, just like we all are when we try to learn to ride a bike, we have to use stabilizers. But at some point, they became very proficient at that. I mean, even more dramatically, Usain Bolt at one time couldn't walk, just like all of us can't walk. And they've become extremely proficient at running and cycling their, their bikes and making a living out of doing that. So in a similar way, we can think about how we need to learn and to appreciate what's taking place at Mass and not to get frustrated with ourselves if in those initial few times, it might take a few, three, a few weeks, it might take a few months, it might even take years, but just to be patient, to learn what's taking place at the different stages at Mass and then to notice how perhaps we're not so bored anymore. Perhaps we can truly understand what's going on and truly receive the gift that's available. And here are the questions.